Hi there, it's me and me, and um, we're going to talk a little bit about the process of forgiving. And um, I call it the battle of spirit over ego. It is a topic that a lot of us, probably all of us, on this planet have come into contact with at some point in our lives and will continue to come into contact with. Um, however, we all get our stories and our, our, our you know, doctrines from people preaching and, and X, Y, and Z about it. And you need to forgive because it's a weight on you. And, and that's all well and good. You know, I've gotten those stories and the, the, the passion and the feeling of the hurt and the pain that is not allowing you to forgive, it overcomes anything anybody will tell you. And it overcomes anything that you believe to be true until you are able to get to a place within yourself that allows you to see uh, the situation, the person or people, and the whole circumstance in a very different light. It's been placed upon me a few different kinds of ways to look at the process of forgiving. Um, I agree, you know, it, it's definitely a weight on you. It doesn't affect them in the least bit, but that's not enough. Like that was never enough for me to really go deep down inside myself and forgive somebody. Like if you did something to me, like it was a wrap. Like it was, it was, it was a wrap. Like, yeah, no, yeah, for sure. It was a wrap. But now I'm at a place where I don't, I'm not, I'm no longer function where I was functioning from before. Um, so let's go. Uh, really this understanding that I'm, I know to be true and, um, my, has helped me in the ability to be able to, um, uh, write it and be able to share it and speak it is my transition from functioning from ego and now functioning from spirit. It's two different things. And most of us were born, we're socialized, we're taught things that create our egos and it and it builds it just builds upon our egos and our some people's egos are like <laughs> so big like and they th they do things for themselves through ego you know they dress up and they you know oh i have this and i have that and they're feeding their ego they're not doing anything uh from pure spirit usually when they're bragging or, or they're coming from a place where it's like oh look what i have look what i've done you know it's all about me selfishness all of that that's ego and a lot of the times um we are not able to forgive people because we're functioning from ego our ego is very powerful don't get me wrong like you still need ego but you you have to become aware of it and you have to become aware that that's not essentially who you are. That's who you've made up. That's your character um, that you want to play. Allowing the ego to overtake you and overtake your spirit is when uh, <laughs> it gets, it gets uh, dangerous, okay? The first thing that you probably need to realize uh, in this process is that you are your own being okay and yes of course okay yeah I'm me you're you yeah but not like that it's like take everything out of your mind that you've ever learned and just listen to this the only thing that matters is you now it might sound like I'm saying that from ego However, I'm not. I'm saying that from a place of spirit. The only spirit that you know, have, can tap into is your own. So that is the only place that you can function from. That is the only thing that you can control. That is the only thing that you wholeheartedly know and can hopefully connect to in this life. Like that's it. So you are it. You can't control anybody. Okay. So that's number one to realize. 
Next, when you're from your family, and those are the first people that you come into contact with, your family. Your family, your friends, the people around you at school, your groups, uh, your teams, whatever. All of these people are playing a very specific role. Uh, in, my, in another video, I said all of us are actors. And in a sense, if once you realize that not one person has it out for you in this life from their own doing, there are reasons why you may conflict with someone else and you have no idea why you do. And that goes, it goes much deeper into uh, a spiritual conversation. But for the sake of this video, each person that you come into contact with is there for a reason, whether you like it or not. And they are there to play a role in your spiritual development and your experience in this life, in this realm. So you can't walk around blaming, oh, why do I even know? Why is this person in my family? Like that's, <laughs> that's number one. That's like, yo, like, why is this person in my family? Like, what is this? What is this? There's a reason for it. And it was predestined before you were even conceived. Um, physically. So that's the second thing that you should probably ponder. You have to realize that what you experience is number one, what's supposed to happen, or number two, you caused it to happen. There are certain things that are supposed to happen in our lives to help us grow, whether they're good or bad, whether they're people or not. Um, and those things you will encounter no matter what. The second kind is sometimes most of the time, you don't realize it, but you created that. You brought that into your world. Nobody else did that. You did that. Now, the, the task is figuring out how you did that and why you did it. Um, and sometimes if it's a negative thing that's going on in your world, sometimes that creation was created from your inability to forgive, whether it's somebody else or forgive yourself because it's that negative energy and you just manifested that in the homie over here, homegirl over there or a situation. And now you're like, dude, like really? Like, <laughs> like who is this? Like who is this? <laughs> so you have to realize um, you created that or you have to go through it. A lot of us have to forgive ourselves. A lot of us have made choices and we have done things because maybe sometimes we thought it was the right thing to do. Uh, maybe sometimes um, we didn't, you know, we just didn't know any better. We didn't, we didn't follow our gut instincts sometimes. And it gets us in situations that are, don't feel, don't sit well with us. And um, you have to come to terms with, a lot of those situations, like I said, you had to experience or you caused yourself. So the work begins in deciphering which one is which, what you were supposed to get out of it, what you got out of it, what you didn't get out of it. Um, you know, and that's, that's, it's a lot of work, but these, are, this is just another thing of, you know, the process that you have to go through in order to really forgive like forgiving is not just forgiving somebody else for doing something to you forgiving is also forgiving yourself for the choices that you made for the people that you've hurt for the things that you said for the things that you've done for the things that you have not done those are all processes of forgiving and forgiving is not limited between me and you or you and me this has allowed me to uh, this one is really personal for me because it's allowed me to really see <clears throat> some members of my immediate family uh, in a different light. And it is allowing yourself to objectively view someone else. And it's, and it's from their conception, like their birth. If you're, if you're able to, you know, talk to their parents or something and you become aware of their journey, their life journey as who they are today and what events they've gone through, what challenges they faced, were they able to overcome them or not? Um, you know, 
what obstacles, what people have come into their lives, what, um, you know, if they've lost someone, some people who are really dear to them and they didn't, couldn't really understand or they didn't have a strong uh, sense of self or spirituality. All of these things you have to take into account. Um, just because they hurt you, their hurt in them far surpasses the hurt that they caused you and the hurt that they may have caused you may just be a reflection of what they're going through. You have to take yourself out of your shoes, even beyond your own hurt. Because once you're able to do that, you can start to really enter under and overstand that person. And then you might be able to get to a place where you see the voids and you see the deficiencies and the blockages and be able to help them, really. Um, the last one I say is you, you ultimately need to connect to your own spirit. Like these are all great things to ponder and to think about and to discuss, but you really need to connect to your own spirit. I don't know your spirit. You know, like you are the only one who knows your spirit and um, you know what really bothers you. And that is the only way that you will really be able to free yourself. Mm -hmm.